All right, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and today we're gonna do some uh, fan cheese fish tacos. Now, I just got back from Florida, and I went to the place on Anna Maria Island called the Ugly Grouper. Yep, they got that little statue of the grouper. And while I was there, I ordered their grouper fish tacos with the fan cheese shells. And I'm like, I have got to make that. Of course, I can't get grouper. Uh, so I'm using uh, the bass that I caught from Lake Powell earlier this year. And we're going to make some fish tacos with the fan cheese shells right here on the Blackstone. Let's go inside. I'll show you how I prepare them. We'll come right back out and we'll get this going. All right. So like I said, I don't have grouper, but I've got this uh, bass from Lake Powell that we caught on our fishing trip. And, you know, I'm going to use some uh, Chipotle ranch in our uh, taco. I'm going to coat these with a little cornstarch, some butter flavored spray. I'm going to use some Sure Shot Sid's lime pepper seasoning. And I'm also going to throw some uh, hatch green chili flakes on here. And uh, when I make my tacos, you know, instead of buying a big bag of uh, cabbage to go in there that I most likely won't use the whole bag, I like getting these uh, salad starter kits. You know, the chopped salad, it's got a lot of cabbage in it, cabbage, carrots, it's ready to roll, so that's gonna go in our taco. And yeah, so we got some, uh, also have some pico de gallo. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to spray these with the butter spray. Okay, then I'm going to put the uh, Sure Shot Sid's uh, lime pepper on here. That should add some really good flavor for this fish. Then I'm going to add some uh, Hatch Green Chili Pepper Flakes. And I'm going to do the other side. Okay, I almost forgot. I'm just going to sprinkle a little cornstarch on the outside just to give it a little bit of a crisp when we uh, go out. Okay, and a couple of these uh, bigger pieces. I am going to, uh, I'm gonna cut down into some smaller chunks. Okay, I am gonna use some Kinloch uh, pecan oil. Oh my great, to do these fish. So get some oil down and I'm gonna get some butter down. Fish on. All right, we're gonna let this fish go a little bit until we start seeing a little bit cooking up the side here and we'll get them flipped. And after we get the cook fish cooked up, we will get our tacos going. Okay, uh, these uh, smaller thinner fillets, they look like they're ready to turn. They're already getting kind of flaky on the edges. That's good. Okay, we got a nice little char on here and that was uh, help, helped out by the uh, corn starch that I put on here. And let these go a couple more minutes and we'll be back. Let's get the, uh, the fan cheese shell ready. Put the tortilla down and the first thing you want to do, I think, is uh, go around the outside so that we can get that cheese fried up. Get that fan effect. Okay. We do want to put some cheese here in the middle. Good. Okay, just want to loosen up that cheese. One around the outside. It's frying up pretty nice. Okay. Keep that spatula under there and make sure my tortilla doesn't get too too toasty. I do have my uh 
taco holder here. Okay, cheese is getting nice and brown, so we want to start building this thing. I'm going to get all this fish right on there. We've got plenty. We're not going to be too shy with it. I'm going to go ahead and put my pico de gallo on there. Okay, my cabbage, a.k.a. lettuce pack. Put that in there. And I want to get some of this uh, Chipotle ranch dressing. Okay, and fold this in half. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'll let that go for a second. The other side looks. Whoops. Okay. That it's looking good. All right, so now I'm going to put this right in my taco holder, hold it up. I'll get another one made, and uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Get that other one going. Okay, you want to fan it around the side. You want to get that cheese melting first. I'm going to go ahead and get the fish on here. This time, get some of that going. Pico de gallo salad, aka coleslaw for there. Hold that over. Got that one pretty stuffed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this go for a minute. I'll flip it. We'll take it off. We'll do there a taste test. See how it's got the looks like a fan above that tortilla. So cheese, fan, fish, taco, I'm using bass instead of grouper. What a great idea, huh? All right, we'll be testing this soon. Okay, there you go. Fan, cheese, fish, taco, brainchild of the ugly grouper at Anna Maria Island in Florida. We're gonna give these a test because I don't have grouper, but I got a nice white bass. Look at that. Whoa, they're falling out the end. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get a bite of this. Mmm, 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 mmm. That fish. Mmm. The fried cheese. Outstanding. Mmm. So good. All right. So if you can't go to Anna Maria Island to the Ugly Grouper, make these at home. They're still still good. It's not grouper. You can use cod. You can use any fish you like. White flaky fish is always awesome for fish tacos. Thanks for watching. I hope I see you on the next video, and I hope you have a good day.